now we have a more legalistic instrument uh, which if enforced effectively and properly provides uh, punitive measures and corrective measures for those who gain privately from holding office or based on the trust of the people if that is violated then there are ways of actually addressing it and it's up to the countries the civil society the governments and other actors engaged to make maximum use of this opportunity it will it is not going to be an easy journey it's a commencement and i think if uh, honest and sincere efforts are put uh, in this journey it can be won when are people living in poverty start quoting the un convention then the government will know that oh people now are no longer ignorant that uh, when they speak they speak to the press they speak to uh, the television then the government will begin to know that uh, these people know about their rights i think that is one of the things that have hit us why we have not fought corruption well is because the people do not know uh, what conventions or articles have been put in place to help us reduce corruption element of transparency and inclusiveness is something very positive and i think uh, within the countries if civil society also can be part of the this uh, inclusive process then the, the output and the outcome can be much better and the, there is provisions in the mechanism for cso engagement which is much more strongly endorsed and agreed in the uncac itself so the platform is open and it's very clear and we would hope that uh, the mechanism would be enacted in its full principle and the spirit within which it has been developed uh, for civil society it's a very important juncture they would like to know at what stage each government or country is in the review process and they would like to support the process positively I think it's going to take an awful lot from civil society in order to get the review process to to be effective. Um there seem to be a few ways that civil society can input into the process, um but it still seems um that there's a lot of advocacy that needs to be done. I think it's really important to have technical um analysis and inputs into the review process. Um it's really really important important that we have the legal um input, but um as Tier Fund we're really concerned that the those that face corruption and uh, most are uh, poor communities on the ground and so we're really um wanting to see poor communities have a space to to speak into the review process so those that most affected by corruption and bribery and other forms are actually inputting to into the process this review system would they would show my people that uh, they can play a role on holding the government accountable we're going to move from there with uh, these people and uh, just uh, help them in how they can engage the government in making sure that uh, they 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 do a self assessment review and at the same time they are also accountable to the people as well as uh, to other international uh, groupings at the various entry points for civil society groups may confront obstacles they may have trouble finding out who is the government focal point which is key to participation they may have some difficulty in finding out what are the dates for the whole review process in their country when is the country visit going to take place when does the self assessment by the government have to be complete it just highlights the need for collaboration and for different um civil society organizations to come together um particularly um local organizations and for, in poor communities who witness the impact of corruption need to work alongside those with more technical and legal knowledge so that they can come together and give a combined and coordinated response to the implementation of the convention civil society groups will have to be persistent and collectively groups will need to get together to put pressure on 
the UN and the Conference of States parties to make the process more and more transparent. Thank <laughs> you.